welcome. This is a men's channel with men content. I am the gentleman rogue, Jeremy Hill. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now let's get into the subject matter. Modern women, black women in particular, in my most humble opinion, I believe black women love to have a train ran on them. Now, if you don't know what a train is, then allow me to explain what a train is. It's a woman who has consensual sex with more than one man. And it's a line of men. It could be five, six, or seven men who are going to have sexual intercourse with this lady, if you want to even call her a lady. Now, I'm not talking about any type of sex that is non-consensual. I'm talking about a woman who is so whorish, who loves promiscuity to the point that she is willing to take on more men that you see on a basketball court just to have an orgasm. She loves it. She wants a man to run into her. She wants him to stop and let another man hit, hit it. Want him to stop and let another man hit it. Now this is different from a threesome. This is actually a one woman going into a room or wherever it may be, and there's a man waiting to take their turn on this lady or this thought. Now, why is this important? Because I want men to realize that a leopard seldom ever changes its spots. Most women who have had trains ran on them normally started this type of behavior when they were young. I'm talking from the ages of 13 plus, usually in school. Gentlemen know and ladies know of women or girls in high school that used to have these things done to them. There was always rumors or they had reputations of being a freak and they knew about men having trains, I mean running trains on these women. The ones who did the trains the most were men on the football team, the boys on the basketball team, or, or whatever sports team, or the dope boys, or the drug dealers, or the cool people in school. Now, these type of women never really stop that hunger of sleeping with different men. Some of these women have to leave their town or leave that block and go to another place where people don't know them so that a man who is not familiar with her history will love her and propose to her and marry her. Not knowing that he just married or fell in love with the common whore. Well, she's a little bit uncommon because she just love to live sexually like she's hypersexual so what happened to them these women that we knew back in high school who used to have trains ran on them that was overly sexual they may slow down a little bit but they will never be faithful to whoever it is that they are in a relationship with that includes marriage engagement or just a regular relationship they will always cheat and in some cases they will have threesomes or foursomes while they're married, they will do swinger type of activity with swingers and their husband won't even be aware that she's involved with the swinger lifestyle. It's something secretive. She's keeping it away from him. She is what they call a unicorn, meaning she is just kind of like a single girl who sleep with a married man and a woman, but the husband don't know. There are women who do pornography, man, who have men who don't know that they're doing pornography. Women like that, are just normally what we would call slutty. These women never really change. They will still cheat on a man. So I want these men to know that it takes a lot for a woman who grew up so harshly to change her ways. It has to be a religious experience to come along or something traumatic has to come along for a woman to say, I don't want to be this way no more. Maybe the birth of a child. But even then sometimes that doesn't matter because Many gentlemen can testify to what I'm about to say. How many of us have had sex with a woman while she had a three month, six month, or two year old baby in the bed with them? And you're behind her grinding, hitting it from the back while she's on the bed and the baby sleep right there. I had situations where the baby could be right over there while you knocking down this woman from the back and she has her boyfriend on the speakerphone talking to him 
having a full conversation with him while you're grinding on this man's woman while he has his child on the other side of the bed. Because these type of women never change their ways. They adjust, they adapt, and in some cases they may slow down, if that's even possible, their urges of sleeping with so many men, but they still have to get it in. This is why I say a lot of, a lot, not all, but a lot of modern day black women in particular love it when they have trains ran on them. Some of these women brag about their sexual exploits. See, some of you have never been around, been in the streets. All you do is watch TV and not really immersed in the black community because I talk about the darkest corners of what's going on in the black community when it comes to our black women. And the things I'm saying to you are factual and they are true. A lot of women, you'll be surprised, have had more than, not just threesomes, fivesomes, sixsomes. You'll be surprised at how many uh, women that you know that you wouldn't even think done had trains ran on them. Four men done hit it. Six men done hit it. What do you think? The, where do you think these porn stars come from, like Pinky and the rest of them? Do you not think that they was already immersed in promiscuity and lasciviousness, immersed in extreme promiscuity before they became porn stars? Do you not think that the Cherokee Diaz, which is one of my faves, you don't think she was already doing these sexual things in the black community before she became a famous porn star? No, the difference is some of these women take it and run with it and make it a profession. Other women just live it out as a lifestyle. But once you have had that bell rung, once you have opened that, broken that top, ladies, and you realize that you are a hypersexual woman, because not all black women are hypersexual, but there are some who are, you can't stop it. It becomes an addiction. You have to get years of therapy and have to practice years of restraint to bring those urges back in. So some women who are whores will always be whores. No matter how good you are to them, no matter how many kids you have by them, no, man, no matter how many times you have bought her nice jewelry, no, many, how many, sorry, no matter how many times you bought her nice jewelry, no matter how many times you bought her all the things she could possibly ask for, giving her a life, put her in the suburban place. Now she's a suburbanite. She will always have that horror streak in her. She is a whore. She will always have that freaky horror streak in her. I'm not lying, gentlemen. Think about the girls in high school. What do you think happened to them? Do you think they just turned around and changed their ways? No. They still have that same freaky girl in them. So, a lot of black women Modern day black women have had the choo choo, the toot toot, all up in them. Well, if you think what I said is true or factual, you know what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you to go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. And I believe this upcoming Sunday, I will be live streaming at 1.30 Central Standard Time. I'll see you then. As always, Jeremy Hill, the gentleman role.